Verbally disclose that the content is sponsored by Mattel at the beginning of the video within the first 10 seconds. Well, I think we've done that. Need to hold on screen for at least four seconds. A little lower hand. Then we can get on with the normal intro. What? Da, 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 da. What? What is that? What, what tune is that? That's a, that's, that is a show, though, right? No, it is. It's definitely. I've never heard. I that. haven't made that up. I am um, mm, 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 Airman, and today is, of course, a very special occasion because we are unboxing me. Yes, Jeff. Jeff Goldblum. I rem I remember when we first met. Such a magical occasion. You Such majesty. Anyway, Mattel's blessed Jurassic Park legacy, I should say, legacy, uh, Ian Malcolm. So if, if we can get a, a, a lovely close-up of our uh, beloved Ian Malcolm, that comes with a flare. The, the, the first um, character to come with a flare. Uh, we thought it was gonna be Alan Grant, but I think it's even more fitting that it's me. You've got so many more uh, like points of articulation. I mean, we, we could stand here and bless this toy all day for its dashing good looks. But really, uh, you've got like elbow articulation and all of these legacy uh, characters uh, come with a Comstock Navis. So I think Alan Grant comes with a flare gun. I'm not too sure Ellie Sattler comes with, but they all come with a Comstock Navis. Also have a nice look at the back. Um, one thing I will say about the actual um, Jeff Goldblum uh, figure is that, I mean, they've done a really, really, really good job um, on his uh, likeness. There's a couple of things that even I can point out that are a bit odd, is that if you look at his arms, like connection, he's got like that bend in the elbow, but for some odd reason, and I'm not too sure why, I'll just double check. Yeah, yeah, like they, they deliberately painted a little bit above the elbow, skin colored. <laughs> It gives this really weird, like, his sleeves being painted skin color? Instead of just having, like, the upper bit all be shirt, it's like they've, they've painted a little bit over, which is a bit weird. Also, his face looks a bit odd. I mean, I mean my face looks amazing. But, no, the, uh, yeah, yeah, hi. But to give them credit, they've actually made the glasses a uh, dark shade, and, like, you know, you can actually see through them. But it looks like the facial features, like the lips and stuff, have been printed. So that they look um, they look a bit dirty, I suppose is the word. Especially when you've got like a big chunk of it just like <laughs> underneath the bottom lip. <laughs> but apart from that, that's pretty good. So let's take this out of the box. Did you hear that, Winnie? I'm not expecting a delivery. Let's have a look. Don't you know I'm a busy man? I'm, uh, mm. Oh, okay. Nobody? Oh. Got a virus. This video is sponsored by Mattel. It's gone over the minutes so allowed me to say it again. Well then, would you looky here? Woo! Well, let's uh, never mind that. This oh, this terrible thing. We'll put that away. Oh my God! This takes up so much of the of the table. So Mattel, finally, it happened. It only took. Oh God! Did I just hit the mic? It only took four years. Four years to get recognized. Four, years. Four long years! <laughs> to get recognized by Mattel. But finally, <laughs> here we have it. The dino. Left, 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 left. left, more. left. More. This has been such a long time in the making. <laughs> Got in touch with me. So they finally forgave me for the crafters and made that review video. Oh, did I not say Mattel? Mattel. Mattel, unboxing, never before seen, exclusive, hello. Apparently loads of people um, got a, a, well, this package, um, and 
I'm <laughs> harnessing the inner Jeff Goldblum. Mm -ah, mm. They got uh, different varieties of dinosaurs. Uh, so this is our 2019 wave. The dinosaur rivals. And in here, it, the, there could be there could be a Parasaurolophus. Hey Mattel, if you're watching and you do know that's my favorite dinosaur, it might be in here. The way this works is they're just like regular dinosaur toys, but I mean, we're gonna see. Apparently they're supposed to fight each other. I'm supposed to have stats, statistics. So, um, should we, oh God, oh it's, oh it's sellotaped. Whitney, where's the knife? So you're not running on screen with knives at me anymore, you know? Get a parent supervision, but I don't think this is out for everybody. <laughs> oh, oh, oh God, is it, is it, oh, is it glued? Oh, it, oh, it feels like it's glued. Oh, am I supposed to open it the other way? Oh, I am, oops, I was slowly breaking it there. That was fantastic. Oh! Wow! Oh, yep, yep, there it is. It's starting to come off now. <laughs> it was sellotaped down for a reason. So I've just undone the sellotape. It's done being... Oh, you know, that's why they don't send me stuff, because I'll just break it. So, anyway, we just ignore the slight wobbling. So here we go. When dinosaurs roam free, who will rule? It's survival of the... I was thought I was gonna say the fittest, but no, apparently the fiercest. That's what they're going for. And then we've got all the individual stats. So you've got the T-Rex there with 10 strength, um, seven speed. So it's a bit like Top Trumps in a way. Uh, five intelligence and nine attack, I think that is. I'm such a shame that's wobbling now. <laughs> uh, Triceratops is weaker in every stat. I, I like this. We've got like a player selection screen. Well, it's a, it's a bit like Street Fighter. Um, so what? So these are all the ones in the lineup. So we've got T-Rex, Indoraptor. I think that's Ramphorhynchus. Uh, Protoceratops, a, a raptor. Uh, a Draco Rex. That's new. Uh, these, of course, in this set are dinosaurs that have never appeared in the Jurassic franchise at all. And if there's one thing about Fallen Kingdom, they were dead set on uh, knocking home. No, no what would you call it? Hit home? They, yeah, well, no, hit home means it's like, well, it's a bit close to home. But they want to knock that point home. Is that, is that what, the, is that the phrase? Oh, you flippity gibbet. Have the point home, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, new dinosaurs, we've got a blue, we've got a stiggy Moloch, we've got the Triceratops. Oh, that'd be so cool if this was a screen. And you could like go, and there we go. I mean, that would be very expensive, but they have done stuff like that in the past with like exclusive um, footage. Looking at you, Brave Wilderness. <laughs> Actually, I'm looking at Mattel. How? What about me? Anyway, so we got the Stegosaurus. We've got, I think that's Concavenator, um, which was in the diorama. And we got another Draco Rex. We got a Styracosaurus. First time we're seeing that, apart from in, you know, it was in Jurassic Park Warpath, but it's not canon. Uh, and Monolophosaurus, so the new ones are Monolophosaurus, Styracosaurus, Concavenator, uh, Draco Rex, Protoceratops, and Ramphorhynchus. So we've got a few new dinosaurs that have never appeared. And in the, so here we go, we've got one, two, three, four. We've got four dinosaurs in here. There you go, so here we've got four different dinosaurs, uh, I think, unless there's a second layer. Oh, I would love a second layer. Um, so should we start with the smallest? Save the biggest for last? Okay. So, let's go for, oh, ooh, we have two layers, would you believe? So this that actually housed nothing, it just masked it. So what do we have here? We have, ooh, Vel Velociraptor Delta. Um, interesting, well, I guess, so Dino Rivals aren't just all, I guess, like Fallen Kingdom dinosaurs. So we have Blue and Delta, and that's it. So no Echo or Charlie, I don't think. Um, and on the back, so the, the back of it, we've got uh, Velociraptor Delta, Draco Rex, the Ramphorhynchus, and Protoceratops. Let's put that there. So it looks like we do have two layers. There's another layer there, and it looks like it's quite a big one. We've got like a really super huge layer at the bottom. Uh, so let's go for the second smaller. So it's probably going to be one that looks like that. Oh God. Aha! Ooh, this one. Interesting packaging for this one. Uh, this is the. Ooh, I like this. We got the. So I'll, I'll hide these. Styracosaurus. A nice um, sort of matte finish on the uh, product there. Uh, this one actually doesn't come in a box. So this is very reminiscent of um, Hasbro. 
Yes, uh, <laughs> with the open packaging. I don't think many dinosaurs had that actually when it came to Fallen Kingdom. Most were uh, in packaging that was like that with a plastic cover, but this is the first one that uh, doesn't. So we, we seem to have an action feature. Oh, it is, is it the pull up? Oh, it's a tail, ah, there you go. Uh, on the back there, we've actually got its stats. So in comparison to T-Rex, again, doesn't stand much of a chance. Uh, it looks like it's got what? Six strength, three speed, three intelligence, and five attack. So it's actually a little bit smaller than tri poor Triceratops there, unfortunately. That would be cool if everybody got like a different um, printout of this. But I guess they really probably want to show the T-Rex there. So we got Styro- So we've, we've pulled mystery package. Surprising. So let's go for the second biggest one. Ah, yes! I was hoping. That was bloody well open, and here it is. Oh god, you want to see that one? The Parasaurolithus! Oh, they know or it was always predetermined. I, I kind of want to get my parasol, but I don't even know where it is. Um, it's oh, it's got huge feet, titanic feet. It looks like we got two features. Oh, we got a tail slap, that's cool. So we got tail slap and we got a headbutt. Ooh, that's quite nice. Nice little action feature. Nice to see two action figures, uh, features, sorry. And both kind of like left, right, easy, easy accessible. If a kid's gonna have it like that, hold it like that. I know it's not best for me showing it to put my hand like that, because I can't do that. Um, but just to choose which one to go. Tail whip! Oh, bam! Its defense was low. Headbutt, it flinched. You go, ooh, that's lovely. Um, and there you go, a little little feature of the Parasol of us fighting the Styracosaurus. Uh, Triceratops and Concavenator there. This has six strength which is a little bit weaker than Triceratops. Four speed, which is, wow, wow T-Rex is super quick. Three intelligence, so it's still a little better than Triceratops. And four attack, wow. They've really just given um, T-Rex just the best of every stat, really. In, uh, again, nice little packaging there. There's a lot of empty space going on. But uh, one thing I will say, already just looking at the uh, Parasaurolophus, um, the paint job, it's actually, it's, it, it's similar to The Lost World. It's not all the way there because it's all yellow and it doesn't have this like beigey and white uh, undercarriage to it. It's eye. Um, leaves a little bit to be desired. Uh, for some odd reason, they've only decided to make a silhouette. So they haven't actually colored the pupil. Mattel have definitely listened. They've definitely went, oh, well, people wanted a little collector card. But they thought to themselves, well, people don't... This is the thing. We have, a, we have nostalgia goggles when it comes to, uh, like, Kenner toys. We're like, oh, we just want the same as we used to have. Hello again. This video is sponsored by Mattel. Bye-bye. Up, up, by the way! Oh, God! The ceiling's getting close! Oh, God, how high can this go? This is... Tell me your honest opinion on that paint job. What do you think? Why is it brown? Why? There's a lot of questions going through my head. Why is it gray? I would say, why is it gray brown? Why is there a lightish creamy coffee brown on the top? Why do the, uh, all the plates have green on them? And a very old fashioned kind of green? What you would see an old person drive, like a car, an old person's car, I would imagine, in the UK, anyway. Yes, what? Um. It's because they needed a different color from the other ones, and all the other ones had good colors already. I've got good color jobs. <laughs> so here we go. Luckily, I actually already have that because I've had plenty of comments for me to unbox it, and it's just been here. So there you go. We've got, so if Whitney can do a little comparison, a little, a little pan between the two, left, right. So yeah, I, we've got more of a, a, a natural color for the Fallen Kingdom one. And then with this one, it's more like a desert. And now when Jurassic World came out for the toys, it was like they were gonna have the raptors and there was gonna be an Arctic version and a desert version and a jungle version and a camel version. I don't know what the fourth one was. Um, so I feel like the toys were gonna go in a, a, a similar fashion to that. And this feels quite similar. It's like this is the, the Dust Rider version. Power World reference. So, I mean, it's, it's basically the same. Um, so I can't really fault it. Ooh, <gasps> does it have an extra action feature? Oh, it does! Did you have an extra action? Oh, you don't! It doesn't, so uh, this one only does the tail, and this one... Ooh, ooh, I will admit. That's in a box. Ooh, there's more resistance on that tail. Really easy to do. That one, it's like, ooh, it feels like it clicks down. It's like, woo, there's nice pressure, but this one, it's like, takes no effort at all. 
So maybe the, there's less chance of the mechanism breaking in this one because it's very little. And you can just easily do that. Oh, that's weird. I'm quite happy with that. We've got, I mean, yes, the head moved on this one. And you can see here, like his head moves up and down, but they were like, eh, just give him that, that thing. You can, you can do a headbutt. Why stop there? Why stop when we have the resources to us? And if I just move uh, all of these out the way, well, that's everything done. Here, yeah, yes, why, why even stop there when we can compare it to the Jurassic Park original Kenneth Stegosaurus. So as you can see, the, these two, very similar. The Fallen Kingdom version that first came out, and the old Kenner version that came out as well. I mean, this one was all rubber. If I'm gonna be honest, I mean, I, even when I saw this as a kid, um, when I was like older, I'm not really much of a fan of this Stegosaur. So already, I think Mattel are doing better than the old Kenner Stegosaur. Packaging, I mean, you can't get much better. That is very iconic and I do love that, but this is very similar. I, I don't know if it's gonna be as well remembered as, as that kind of packaging with the trees that was on everything. This one's just like phase two, we're going for still keeping the hexagon sort of look every, every bit in place, but now it's orange instead of orange and gray. I'm actually really happy with that. And on the back, if we have a look at it, there we go. We've got, um, you've got the Stegosaurus. It has nine strength, which isn't as much as the T-Rex, four speed, which isn't as much as T-Rex, two intelligence, which isn't as much as the T-Rex, and four attack damage. Which isn't much, so it's, it's low, it's, I, I think these need scaling. So, so far we have the Parasaurus. I feel like we're doing the Brawlosaur tournament. Parasaurus, uh, Stegosaurus, a Delta, and Styracosaurus. So we, we've got a few knocked off. We don't have Indoraptor, Rampharynchus, Protoceratops, Dracorex, a blue, Stiggy Moloch, uh, Suchomimus, Stegosaur, well, we got the Stegosaur, Concavenator, Draco Rex, or Monolophosaurus. So it's still a lot to get, and it seems like, if I just take that away for a moment, there's one big thing. There could be multiples. We could have the uh, Suchomimus and something else in there, but I don't think it's gonna be in here because it's not actually uh, part of the character select, because I know there is a bull T-Rex and a baby T-Rex. It's just a repaint of the uh, the kind of cheapy chomp uh, uh, legacy T-Rex, but that'd be cool. But let's see what's hidden in the second tray. Oh God. Ooh, 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 it's, I need to lift from both. I have two lifties. It is, da 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 da, a battle T-Rex. Ooh, ooh, actually I re I'm gonna put this down, but you know what, I'll put it there. Put it, put it at the side, because now oh, we are running out of space. It's a fairly sizable table as well. What is this? This is the bite and fight, bringing the total amount of T-Rexes for the Mattel line up to like 500. Hello, I'm Heavenly Jeff Goldblum, and I'm here to tell you that today's video is sponsored by Mattel. Bye bye now. So we've got a different paint job here. Uh, maybe some more texture on the tongue actually, that looks quite nice, rubber teeth. Um, but, oh, and it's course it's got the clicky uh, kind of feet as well. But we have two action features. We have the first one. Ooh, which, oh, wow, yeah, we, which is a swivel head. How do we, it, oh, ah, oh, there you go. So it kind of bites down. <laughs> do it again. That's a really nice action feature. No, no. It's a bit like that scene in Lost World. Do you think it sees us? Ooh, I think it sees us. Dinosaurs suck. Uh, and then we've got another uh, feature, ooh, which is a, a tail swipe. Not in the bot. Well, no, just even like, from a clicking standpoint, that's like that feels like go straight down and that's it done. Whereas this one it gets stuck a little bit. I mean, it's, it works completely fine. It could be a possibility that this isn't working well just because the tail wants to go more this way and it's getting stopped by the box. That could be it. That's really, really cool. And we'll have a look at the back of the box as well. So this T-Rex could beat all the other T-Rexes. Unfortunately, we didn't get Concavenator. There was one dinosaur I was like, apart from Parasaurolophus that I was hoping to get would be Concavenator. It's such a unique dinosaur. I've never seen it before. Um, but we did get one dinosaur that we've never seen in the franchise, which is Styracosaurus, apart from that Warpath game. Uh, so you get a little diagram of the tail whip in action uh, against the Concavenator, and then the chomp action against um, against the Concavenator again. It'd be interesting to see if it could actually pick up dinosaurs at all. Ooh, hold on. No, it's the same, Never mind. <laughs> I thought it had more intelligence. 
I was like, five intelligence? That's a lot of intelligence. Because even in Jurassic World Alive, the T-Rex was very, like, brown. And, I mean, if we just look back at other T-Rexes from this, I mean, 2018. Ah, God, I just got a mountain of dinosaur toys down there. <laughs> Fish it out. Here we go. This is probably exactly the same, except for this one's electronic. As you can see here, the brown is, it's, it's more saturated. They've sort of like turned down it a lot and probably even changed the color, to be honest. That's the only problem with this thing, it doesn't shut up. So um, it, in Jurassic World Alive, the T-Rex got an update and it went completely muted to a dark grayish. Um, and it, apparently, well, this one looks like it also too has got muted down to a dark gray. Like the Thrasher T-Rex. Oh, sorry, not the Thrasher T-Rex. I don't know what T-Rex this is called. It was an animatronic T-Rex for Kenneth. We had this one and it didn't look anything like the movie um, representation, but that's probably because in the novel, it looked similar to this one, I think. I think it did. There you go. There was our mystery dinosaur rivals box um, from Mattel. Thank you so much for sending that Mattel. Um, that was a lovely little surprise, a little, little acknowledgement, even though I almost kind of broke it because I thought the l l top lifted off. Almost broke it, didn't quite get there though. So, if you guys have enjoyed this video, uh, if you do want to see like a specific unboxing of one of these dinosaurs, and you have a good reason for it, that I can't just do show like that, to be honest. Yeah. Um, do leave it in the comments. And until next time, I'll see you later. B bye.